Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Cancer for the week of March 21st through the 27th of 2023. And I would also like to give a very special thank you to those of you who have subscribed to my channel as well as giving it a thumbs up. Thank you very much for doing that. It is truly greatly appreciated. And the Hermit is your first card out. So, stepping back, reflecting a little bit this week, trying to figure out which way you want to go, what your decisions are, you know, turning off the cell, keeping to yourself a little bit more this week. And Eight of Cups, so trying to make a decision on something that you've put a lot of effort into. You know, I'm wondering, do I keep doing it or do I move forward on to greener pastures for myself and a knight of swords so definitely having an unexpected trip usually by air somewhere and this could be a relationship that you're in and you're starting to see that they're not quite all that they are saying they are it's starting to show the you know the chink in the armor sort of thing. And the four of pentacles. So you're trying to hang on to what you've accomplished, what you've got, your money, that sort of thing. You're not overspending. You're trying to make sure that you have enough for that rainy day, which is a good thing to do sometimes. But, you know, you do have to enjoy yourself a little bit. It doesn't always have to be extra extravagant. You know, sometimes a little bit goes a long ways. And the magician, so there you are. You know, you're facing a definite difficult challenge this week. You know, and the magician is there to inspire you to know that your focus is where you need it to be. And you can't get swayed off of the path that you're on. And just like magic, it will all come together for you. Your, your realizations and what you want to do going forward. And the four of rods. So there you stand. Good solid ground. You know what you want to have coming in. You know what your accomplishments are. You know, you're getting, if, you know, some of you are getting good marks at school. Some of you are getting, you know, good reprieve from your bosses. You know, that sort of thing. You know, but you're learning to reward yourself along the way as well for things well done. And the Seven of Cups. So there you are. Wonderful new ideas. You're in no lack of, of uh, inspiration for yourself this week. And in some cases for others. Because you have such an active mind. You know, you're very talented. You can make things happen if you want them to. You just need to believe in yourself. And that's the magician as well. You know, things come together out of nowhere and unexpectedly. And the death card. It's okay. Things in your life have taught you, you know, where you want to go, what you want to have. I know you need to let go of because as we grow in wisdom and, and age in our lives... We also see where we came from and what we had and what's, you know, what our belief systems are, that sort of thing. And we start to, you know, pull our own lives together. And the Nine of Swords. So there you are, all up in your head. Worried that perhaps you've said the wrong thing or done the wrong thing. Trying to figure out how you can correct that. You know, maybe you've... You know, let your tongue slip this week and said something that you're sort of wishing that you hadn't. But we all do it. So now you're trying to figure out, now how do I fix this? You know, do I try or do I not? Maybe you're actually, you know, worrying needlessly about something that you're overthinking it. It has nothing to do with anything. Everything will work its own self out. You know, you're tossing and turning and... And uh, it will come about all on its own naturally for you. And the four swords. So taking the time out. 
And because you realize that if you don't stop, you know, this week, that, you know, it may have consequences for you in the future, such as it might, you know, stress you out to the point that it'll make you wind up sick in bed. So you don't want that. So you're going to take that time out to reflect and heal yourself, do some inner meditations, and I'll keep to yourself a little bit more. And there you are. <laughs> Bored. <laughs> Looking at, you know, everything, all the different things being offered to you, what you've accomplished, what you have. and But there's still more on offer there, for sure. You know, there's like that hand being guided to you. Things are more on offer. You desire more. But now you need to narrow your vision. And this could be you also maybe overeating and drinking this week as well. So do be careful of that so that you don't, you know, look back on this week as going, boy, I shouldn't have done that sort of thing. And the emperor. Well, you're committing to a plan. You're finally making a decision for yourself of what your expectations are going forward. And you're going to really examine what you're doing, taking that time out, you know, doing a lot of reflecting on what you've done this far in your life. And, and we all live with regrets. We can't fix them or heal them or change them because they're already, that's our past and it's done. And you're learning this week that, you know, you'll, you're going to earn or learn what you've done and learn to live with it and keeps keep yourself moving forward you know maybe in the you were in a situation where you always felt like you weren't good enough no matter how, what you tried to do or say or nobody treated you like they're equal so you're trying to find your own independence this week and get away from all that sort of thing you know and you're sticking to your guns this week as well you're making that decision and now you're checking out how to Take it step by step so that it will come about the way that you envision it in your mind. So that's nice. And justice. All right. Well, there you go. You know, this could be a divorce for some of you. This could be uh, signing a legal contract for others. You know, that signing bonuses that... They give away sometimes when you sign up to a job, but, you know, really think about, you know, what you're doing because once you sign those contracts, you know, you're sort of stuck and there it seems like, you know, the different offers go by, but it's okay. Time does really go by quite quickly. So, you know, you're settling old debts and accounts or they're getting settled to you. Maybe somebody's owed you something for a long time and they're finally coming around to giving it back, that sort of thing. You know, you're you're committing to moving forward on what you're wanting in your life this week. You've already got the vision. You've got the ideas. You even know how to go about it. Now you're just trying to rustle that all together make your decisions cut the distractions out of your life moving forward because you have like i said wonderful ideas and they're going to happen a lot quicker than you thought it's going to seem like you know i made this decision to go in this direction over here and i got to do this this and this and this to get that and all of a sudden you know people have offers for you like hey you know uh, did you know if you took this course it'll move you advance you in that study a little bit quicker you know it's a little bit easier course that sort of thing so you're moving forward in the direction that you want you have a vision this this week you've had a vision for a while you just didn't really settle on one that was your seven of cups like you have all kinds of ideas and how to accomplish and get to where you want to do but this is the week that you're you know slowing in your pace you know figuring out which one is best suited for you moving forward and you're taking the steps slowly but you realize that you you know there's some things that you have to cut out of your life in order to accomplish this but you're willing to do that 
and if that means that you know I'll sign that contract so that I have this vision in the future then that's what you're going to do to accomplish things all right I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card but your cards look very positive take some time out for yourself think things clearly you know because you have a vision of what you want in the future and there's no dream too big that's what dreams are all about it's whether you accomplish them or not all right I am the angel of families a happy change or addition is coming to your family all right and on that note I will say goodbye for now and I will talk to you again next week till then stay safe stay healthy and bye for now